Um, yes, I'm coming back here on the 26th of April to a, an amazing arena called We Think um, to do an 80s concert with many other stars, Barana Rama, Alphaville, CC Ketch, Bad Boys Blue, and me, Samantha Fox, and many others. It's a five hour show where everybody can come, forget all their worries and their problems and just party. It's gonna be one big party with fantastic disco music, yeah. When I was a singer before I was a model, I was in a band called SFX and released two singles and was performing live. And then one day um, there was a competition in a newspaper saying, girls, you can be the face and shape of 83. And I sent in a picture <laughs> of myself. I got a contract then with the Sun newspaper for four years. But music was always my first love, so I ended modeling. And then at 20, I was sent a song called Touch Me. It was on a cassette and I remember playing it, thinking, oh my God, this is a hit. This is a hit. I recorded it and then it went to number one in 17 countries and top five all over the world. It was amazing. And then I signed a deal for five albums. And then the rest is history. Basically, I've been in the business now 41 years and still doing shows. And I got an Icon Award last year in Britain. And it's fantastic. I'm still here, which is amazing. Music for me is my life, you know. It, it, that's my life. It has been since 1986. Before I moved to Spain, I was living with my mum and dad and my sister. And going to Spain was the first time I felt like an adult because I was on my own. Although I did know people there because I spent many holidays there. And yeah, and then I um, met a beautiful man called Rafa Camino, who's the number one bullfighter in Spain, and I fell in love. So I guess they're my best memories of Spain, you know, and he lived in Madrid, I lived in Marbella. So we spent a lot of time in Marbella and a lot of time in Madrid. So Madrid holds some great memories for me too. We didn't finish badly. It was just because that I moved back. To, I went to live in America. So it was difficult to us to keep a relationship. Yeah, I was always traveling. Rafa was traveling. That was the sad part really, but I've got beautiful memories of Spain, yes. Um, I've, I've released maybe 10 albums now, and I'm gonna release another one, which will be my 11th album. It's gonna have a lot of 80s influence, actually. The beats are gonna be up to date, you know, the actual beats of today, but musically, I'm gonna use a lot of those, those keyboard sounds and maybe some doo 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 doo, some sim and drums, like we had enough, it's gonna stop me now. But it will be up to date and really powerful. All the songs are very uplifting positive yeah I think we all need positive songs at the moment because the world's a horrible place every time you look on the news it's like oh it's so depressing so my songs are going to be uplifting and really happy and positive <laughs>